Hello, everyone. I am your fun gay uncle, Stephen Pope, and welcome to New Pantheon Academia, the anime-inspired role-playing game show powered by Overarms. Here on uh, available now, drivethroughrpg.com. I used to have this thing; I had it down. I knew what I was doing, and now I've lost it, and I keep going. But it's okay. Hi, welcome. Uh, Let's go ahead and meet our table because we got a lot to go over and not a lot of time. Starting with Aki. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. Uh, I play uh, Emancipation Brown, otherwise known as Manny. And they are a, a sweet, uh, supportive, uh, maybe slightly slightly too supportive sometimes of their friends. Um young youngster who is uh patroned by ma'at the egyptian goddess of truth justice and harmony love it throwing it over to mika oh i wasn't expecting that hi <laughs> i'm mika um i play our wonderful little theater kid dahlia wingrove um i'm also realizing i might be just like severely under leveled because i'm still on level two steven oh my funkel um <laughs> so we'll see where this goes when we do our level ups soon <laughs> awesome and throwing it over to the prestigious critical bard um hi my name is omega jones also known as a critical bard critical bard across all social media channels uh what was i about to say oh i play Kawame Akinimi are lovable, really fucked right now. Um, um, somewhat safety squad member with the uh, the patronage of Anansi, the West African trickster god of stories. That's me. Also, I love the slow, slow talking right into the microphone. Yeah, it was like a radio voice. It was very was ASMR. Really? Wow. Welcome back. It's kind of sexy, not going to lie. <laughs> In a world. Oof. <laughs> Tonight, on sir, I'm a married woman. And last but certainly not least, mostly Eric. Hello, everybody. Eric. What's up? Uh, I'm 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 playing uh, Lennox Thatcher. He's a, he's a rich boy, uh, and he's he used to be really? on the football team. He is? Yeah, it's never come up that he's uh, incredible. Well, that's a misnomer. He's not rich. He's wealthy. There's there's a significant difference. You can. Rich, you can lose in a in a bad weekend of gambling. Oh, Wealth never goes away. It's true. Will you ever be all Eric? Uh, Eric, that involves you're, me. You're like two percent Eric right now. Yeah, it involves me accepting parts of myself I'm not willing to. You know, that's deep. <laughs> <laughs> Much like my gender, he's demi Eric. Yeah, sometimes Eric just hits you sideways with the the. He always does it with a big smile on his face too. So you're like, oh, you can't tell if I'm doing? serious or not. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Listen, Eric and I have a very, very long-standing uh, tradition of saying some of the most horrifying and traumatic things with a smile that you don't know if it's a joke or not. Everything's a cry for help. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, we're gonna so, fight the devil today. We yeah. are gonna fight I'm fighting my inner devil our every devils day. today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Oof. if you are new here, welcome to Saving Throw Show. Uh, we are aiming for $150 in tips an episode or 35 new subs. Hitting this allows us to well pay for our shows, it pays for our beautiful talent. Look at these beautiful, handsome people. Look at them. They need to buy Chipotle, and we can't give them the money to buy Chipotle if they, if you don't help with that. Okay. So help. Um, but Hey, helping that lets us do more shows like this, pay us. And you know, if you can't afford to tip or buy us a coffee, don't worry about it. Uh, we appreciate you just being here and we appreciate you sharing links and hyping us up everywhere. We love that. Um, and Hey, if you do tip us $15, Gladys, uh, North point Academy's secretary who really, really needs to reconsider her new year's resolution okay she she was gonna quit smoking and now she's back on it and we're i'm i'm not saying i'm disappointed but i had hope but hey you'll re you'll get that read aloud which is always funny and we don't do this alone we want to send some love to our sponsor for this season hero forge what's up what's up 
Oh, I thought you were raising your hands. Okay. No. Raising the roof. Oh, um, raising the uh, roof. Teacher. Um. <laughs> um, actually. I used to be a teacher. I don't need this. All right. Uh, but no, Hero Forge, you can make your own beautiful custom 3D printed miniature. Uh, you can, and if you don't want to buy it, you can also get a 2D stand one now which is really cool i what are they called skinny minis is that is that the term for them oh you can also get, you can get oh, a sorry. digital oh, version if you have a, your own 3d printer yes so you can print it yourself absolutely and they're you can get them printed in grayscale if you want to pay themselves or if you're like me and you're not, just not that good with a brush you can have them printed in full color i've used this service for a while and you can make some amazing things here and we cannot thank them enough for sponsoring us uh we also want to send some love to our partnership with die hard dice uh you need more math rocks in your life you might think oh i have a couple sets i'm good you're not good all right you're not good enough you need more we all need more. I mean, you're good enough as a person, but you're not, you're, you're going to need more. Okay. Like this thing weighs about a lot. You need more. And we lost Mika. Oh, well, <laughs> when she comes back, we'll, uh, we'll bring her back in, which we can. But yes, uh, you can save 10% of your order at Die Hard Dice by using the code Saving Throw Show 22. That's Saving Throw 22. At checkout, uh, use command DHD in chat if you're with us live to uh, get info and links. And also use exclamation point Hero Forge in chat to check out uh, Hero Forge. Uh, and listen, if you are joining us later, if you're watching this on YouTube or you download this as a podcast, thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. Uh, just remember, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell everything really does help us grow um and lastly you can support us through monthly subscriptions via ko-fi uh hit exclamation point ko-fi in the chat to check it out uh there are adventures and the exploration society is there which is very fun you get the same great rewards as our patreon and you can unlock things like toast with your tips so thank you very much if you do that um and while we wait for mika to get back we actually have someone who recently bought a uh, shout out. So, bum 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 bum. Alright, we're, we're ready for this. Uh, good morning, students of North Valley Academy. Uh, we got some announcements before we start off the day. Uh, congratulations to the North Point Academy Mariachi Band. Uh, Los Co Los <laughs> Con Jos Del Norte uh, on the winning first place in the, the high school category of the Great Pacific Northwest Mariachi Festival. Congratulations, you wild kids. Now, please stop practicing so gosh darn early. You know, some of us, uh, some of us got sleeping in to do. That's all we got. Hey, uh, welcome back, Mika. Blue screen. Oh, no. I know. I figured something because the last thing I saw was you looking shocked and then was frozen face. for a second and then gone. Well, it's like I could see every monitor, but my middle monitor had a transparent blue screen over it. And it was like, we're restarting your PC. It was very weird. And I've never seen it happen before. Computers are magic. haunted. Your computer is haunted. <laughs> but also the fact you came back that fast, that's good. <laughs> My computer got too much happening. We'll be like, eh, you waiting. <laughs> you gotta, get that, <laughs> you gotta get that solid state drive for your, yeah. your OS. Boot in 15 seconds. That's what happened. So, yeah. So last session, Ooh. you all awoke in a world very similar to your own, but different very different we don't talk about this oh no we're we gotta talk about it we don't talk about this no no can we not can we just go on with the game and pretend that that didn't happen uh, no no we cannot we, listen i got a recap all right i wrote it out let me have this please Fine. when are we uh leveling up in a second 
Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, you people and your demands. Fine. You should never tell us we're going to level up until the moment. No, no. I've been doing this for like over 10 years. You think eventually I'd learn, don't tell them when they level up. Just tell them when it happens. Don't tell them you're going to because yep. you're asking for trouble. <laughs> so you all awoke in a world very similar to your own, but a little different. Namely, two people who were dead were not dead. One person who died and came back never died. Uh, one person found themselves in a very in a very important role at the school. And one person still hasn't fully come to grips with what happened. Or they don't really know just yet. Uh, infuriated, and with some of your uh, divinities acting not great, uh, you decided to investigate, and it led you to Ari S. Black, the new dean of North Point Academy, who I made his portrait in Hero Forge. Boop. Oh no! Are we about to simp over over mean person? Oh, interesting. Are we about to simp over mean person? No, no, we're not. <laughs> no, no, I think I think <laughs> safe. Oh no, he has privilege written all over. Mm -mm. Yeah, He's get this Dak Shepard looking motherfucker out of here. <laughs> Dak <Dad laughs> Shepard, no! Dak. <laughs> Oof. Dak Shepard? It's the highlights for me. <laughs> your 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 we creation looks amazing. It looks really incredible. Good. Who's Dak Shepard? Really you don't know who Dak uh, Shepard. He's uh the, he's the, married to Christian Bell. Christian Bell. Christian Bell. That's his husband. only credit. <laughs> I have done That's a lot. He's without a paddle. This... Oh, that guy. Yeah, I had a thing for him when I was like 14. Oh my god. It's showing. <laughs> it's incredible that without a paddle is what got you to that point. Were you about to say Aki? <laughs> no, I was just I, I, I want to know if, if Steven needs an analgenic for that burn. <laughs> well, the fun thing is, Aki, I'm dead on the inside, so I don't feel anything anymore. It's fine. Fair enough. Fair so, enough. Wow. Are his hands scaly? Yes. Is that what I'm... Oh. Scaly hands and a big horn and red eyes. Thanks to hate it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks to hate it. So, you met him. Fun fact, mm -hmm. he's a jackass. And like oh, a proper mm -hmm. jackass... You, you kind of want to kick him in the teeth. So you... You all thought that Loki was bad. No. <laughs> this guy's bad. This guy's a jerk. So, you decided last session, you were going to fight the devil. And before we do that, we are going to go ahead and level y'all up. You are <gasps> going to be level five. Now, unlike other RPG systems, Overarms doesn't have a large, like, you got to do all this rigmarole each time you level up. It works like this. Uh, at level two, you upgrade an anima stat. At level three, you upgrade a character stat. At level four, you gain your second anima ability. And at level five, you get to upgrade your anima again. Mika, I'm wondering if you did level up, you just didn't change the number. Because you do have a second anima stat. Yeah, I do. Uh, and I'm looking at. Do you have any numbers that are the same? Because you should have four. In my six... top star, I do. I have two twelve. Well, no, <laughs> no, I don't. So we just found out Mika's been playing with a handicap since uh, <laughs> I don't know how long. But look at how well I've done. That's true. It's I mean, really yeah, well. I've leveled up, and I and so I mostly second levels a. Anima stat, third level is a character stat, and then fourth level was getting the second ability. Yes. So it sounds like you need a character stat and an uh, anima stat. You've already got yeah. the anima ability. Yeah. Yeah. So you did remember when we you were here and you did level up with us at level yes. four. It's just that you missed level three. Yes. Yeah. Because I came in as level three, so I never had to worry about that. Yeah. You just missed level three. That's all. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Okay, so what's uh, level five looking like? Uh, at level five, you get an anima stat upgrade. Your anima stats are, if you are, for those at home, if you're looking at an overarms character sheet, your anima stats are the second star on your sheet. Uh, it is your 
AP, which is your MP, it's your magic ability. The range, which is how far an attack can be from your person. Power, how strong it is. Defense, how well your uh, uh, divinity can protect you. And speed, how fast your divinity is. Ranging from a D4, which is booty, to a D12, which is pretty good. Yeah, my defense is a D4, and I should upgrade that, but You're I not need going my to, are you? No. I'm a magician. I need my animal. <laughs> I kind of need it. Uh, I, I should. I should, because he's becoming a lot more f- forefront, but I probably won't. So, because I'm not team. a mid-maxer. And I'm the I'm the tank. You are yeah. the tank. I guess the one who die because I get too close to the sun. <laughs> Manny, am... Manny will next time when you're ready to up your defense. Manny will teach you what you need to do. We'll just do a whole Mulan. Pl- can you please? You can be the. Uh... I'll sing. <laughs> Mulan. I'll sing. You, yeah. You went Mulan. I went Rocky. <laughs> You know, we can do Eye of the Tiger. Maybe we can maybe we can do an Eye of the Tiger. I'll make a man out of you. Uh this is probably up. racist as hell, and I'm going to admit it out loud. But oh. I was about to say Eye of the Hidden Tiger. Oh kind of like it. Eye of the Crouch. I like tiger. it. Eye of the Crouchy Tiger, Hidden Tiger. Yeah, it should be Crouchy I just tiger. now I just want Mickey like coaching Mulan. It's like I, You're a bum, Mulan. You never <laughs> be nothing. Eye of the it's I yes. In any case, I want to see uh, Sylvester Stallone trying to climb the thing with those little uh, webby mm-hmm. gong things. Yeah, Mulan used. I gotta honor my family, Mick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All and, right. And scene. <laughs> so I have upgraded my anima. I am now at a D eight technically. So I have. That I can't get over the fact points. that that Dolly has. 30 AP. It's just... It's because of the, the item she I got. Know, no, no yeah. I know. It's just out of control. Out of Thanks control. to our wonderful Patreon uh, yeah. backers. I have upgraded Lennox's speed, which is now a D8. Because Ooh, nice. my range was already a 12. Nice. Yeah, my range is a 12, too. My cool. range is a 6. I gotta get up close and personal. You got this. Hey, I'm a melee fighter for a reason. Got the big old sword. And You're technically shield. a guardian. I am a guardian. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I know that's fighter, I, I am... guardian, magician, assassin. Yes, those yeah. are the four. And we have and and no, I'm pretty as sure it's always, just fighter it's and three magicians. magicians and yeah, I'm pretty guardian. sure it's just magicians. See, if I would have known that all uh, there were two other magicians, I probably would have not played a magician. So Listen, you would be a my great biggest problem is I don't tell my players like, oh, we already have a couple of those. Would you? Be yeah, you don't care about, about party don't do balance. That. I don't no, care no. about balance. Yeah. I just want people to have fun. I don't, I don't care about balance either, but I think it would be have interesting to see how because like we have three people who are so magically influenced. Like mm-hmm. we could have had a sneaky person. Yeah, I uh, think but, I think if Kwame could have pulled anything else off, assassin would have been a good. It, one. it would have been assassin. Yeah, I, if I would have known, if I would have thought about it, oh, uh, assassin could have worked. But I had focused more on the story part of him versus the spider part of him. So no, oh, it's cool. Thankfully, yeah. in a game like Overarms, being as simple as it is, you can play any class you want and play however you want. <laughs> it's true. I actually found a a Digimon hack of Overarms online, and it was very cute. I was like, isn't it true, Linux, who typically could be able to heal but does not heal, instead does a water beam? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've, I've built him to be a magical assassin. Uh, I sometimes heal, but I mostly try and punch things, and it doesn't work. It's true. Well, let's see if we can punch the devil. Yeah. Yes. Hi. So, uh, for the first time of the season, let me get the music going. And let's hey! Yay, Dex and Speed, Dex and oh, Speed. Oh, I've missed this music. Dex and Speed. I upgraded one of those. Ooh, not the best. Not the not best great. at all. Not the best. I'm last, probably. Dex and yeah. Speed. But none, none yep, of I'm us. Last. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Speed is so good. I do love this track. Roll 20, everybody. Wonderful tool. So, all right. Ari is going first. That tracks. 
Uh, the room darkens and his eyes begin to glow as his smile turns wicked. Uh, Kwame, actually, you know what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it just yet. He is going to make eye contact with you, Kwame, and I'm going to make a roll. Okay. Now, I need you to give me an intelligence roll, Kwame. This is all fine. Hey, that's a, that's a crit on one dice, but it's just a crit. It's a 10. All right. Uh, lose four AP. So we just leveled up. Yeah. <laughs> and I gained four AP. <laughs> yeah. Cool game. Cool game. Cool game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. It's a boss fight. Oh, no. It's a very bad boss fight. Oh, no. You guys, we might have been knocked more than we could chew. Yeah, I, I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to remind you, running away is a very valid option. What happens if we don't run away, though? We die and make new characters. <laughs> that, it'll be a very, very short season. But then that would solve our problem. It's because... true. <laughs> We'd be in so, our life. Uh, Kwame, you feel a hand in your brain. Uh, and I don't mean that metaphorically. You feel something touching your brain. Now, usually... A, person can't feel their brain but right now you feel it and it's bad touch and it's mm. not great mm. and it uh, uh. Well, and you feel your uh wellspring a divinity power just kind of you're fighting it off the best you can you managed to you managed to remove it but it you've lost some ap from it i just like i like very much it's not a scream but it's a guess a it's a weird sound that comes out of kwame's mouth that i'm not going to replicate right now uh and he just looks over at anansi um why do i feel like i um i don't i can't connect to you to you as much as i used to what is happening he tried to oh uh to put it simply he tried to fucking possess you Ah, no, okay, noted. Don't like that, don't like that. Devil can possess people. Valid. Mm -hmm. So, next up is Lennox. Uh, seeing whatever, like, weird beam of energy go at Kwame, uh, Lennox is gonna fucking blast some, some water at this Dax Shepard looking motherfucker. And that is a miss. Yeah. Uh, you rolled an 8, we were looking for a 10, and just a reminder, your AC in this game is your initiative. He does... Ooh, so I you shoot that. out a beam of water at Ari, and he just sidesteps it. <gasps> like he knew it was coming. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I missed that. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> so the next, timing was so good. Next up... Dahlia and Manny, you guys share initiative, so you work at the same time. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think that Manny looks over at Dahlia and kind of, like, manifests their sword and shield and, like, uh, swings in front of Dahlia. Uh, and as they do, they kind of swipe with their sword uh, towards the devil. Um, basically to kind of, even if they don't hit him, they would like to at least make him step back. So we're going to see. Now, if I do, if I do something to hold the devil in the same moment that Aki, or that Manny's doing this, would that help them? Yes. Because, uh, I'm going to do my tried and true, holding them down with vines <clears throat> and roots. All right. Um, so in this case, I'm going to ask make it a roll first, and then I'll have you roll, Aki. Okay. And mine's int range, right? Uh, you are going for a, uh, condition, not an attack. 
So we're going to make it, uh, let's make it int power. Okay. Five. All right. Uh, so that gives him, let's round that, round, cut that in half, round it up. We're going to give him uh, vind three. It's oh. a 15 to hit. All right. Uh, that is absolutely going to hit. And 16 damage. All right. Let's roll his uh, defense. And he's going to put a strength to that. Oh, goodness gracious. Great fall. <laughs> yeah. Get wrecked. And the moment Manny slashes at him, they kind of turn over their sh- their shoulder and go, this might have been a bad idea. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're at the bottom of the order, and it is Kwame. Uh, I, we're at the verse of the order, not the bottom. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, K- Kwame reeling from that, uh, just kind of like gets it together, and like his demeanor extremely changes as he just watches the devil in front of him and he says you may be the devil but you are not a storyteller so let me tell you how it's done let me spin you a story in which we live by faith not by sight second corinthians 5 7 i am seeking to make sure his sight is cut off so he can't do what he did to me again because we live by faith not by sight punk all right uh, that is uh, intelligence and intelligence range. It sounds like. Okay, I just wanted to confirm, and I need to use an AP point. Eleven. That's going to hit. Uh, let's go ahead. Now, is this a status or an attack? A status. I, I I want I want him not to be able to use that ability again. All right. So well, at least not easier. He's bind three and blinded six. All right. So what that means if he rolls under a three or a six on any die, another die, the dice drop in size. So it goes from a d12 to a d10. If it if it ever has to drop from d4, he's basically out. So. Uh, we're back to the top of the order. Uh, with the vines around him and his eyes. Uh, I think that's like a web that kind of comes over the eyes, a spider web. I like mm. that. Uh, he is going to uh, activate his first power. Mm. Yeah, that's going to work. So everyone roll initiative. Again? You all find yourselves rewound. Uh, About... Wait, does Kwame get his uh, points back? We're going to uh, find out. You will. You get your points back. Oh, I was going to say, it's like, is everyone going to roll 13? <laughs> no, but we're going to roll better than last time. Of at course, least. Quinny is going to match together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you find yourself shunted back a mere moments. About you estimate maybe ten seconds, five seconds. Uh, you're standing where you were, and you aren't injured, and the web's gone, and the vines are gone. And he is just smirking, feeling great. Uh. Do we know, do we remember what happened? Oh, yeah. Okay. I wonder if like, we get like, just reset without any information. What just happened? He did it again. How do you have this power? You are not a storyteller. This is not your job. You bring light or corruption, whatever you fits your fancy. How did you get this? Uh, Kwame, I don't think he's a storyteller. I think he just has the remote. Yet yeah, a remote is just a digital book, a digital pen, pencil. It's oh, still you a ever story. Seen that movie Click. 
Linux, you are very cute. <laughs> hey, but you don't have to be a storyteller to rewind someone else's story and play it again. You're just forcing someone else to rewrite. Because you can't do it yourself. You lame powered jerk. I'm gonna call the ooh, board of directors. Ooh, you tap up in it. I'm writing down. He doesn't say anything. He's just smiling. He shrugs. So you can just continuously do this? It's not, there's no point in asking him questions. He's just going to continue looking at us like that because he has nothing better to do with his time. But we do, so we should go. today. What about you guys? As long as the devil is running our school, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, there's nothing this principal can do anything about it. In a lot of ways, this isn't even, like, our reality or whatever, so, like, um... Pretty sure our grades don't count. Mm -hmm. I am curious about what it is that he screwed up with my life, though. You know what? It might not count. It might not be real. Or it might be. But at least it feels good right now. I'm going to activate my fist and punch him. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Uh, we're looking for an 11. Oh. Sorry. Come on, Kwame. Work Angie. out some of that aggression. Kwame Angie right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I need to do it like this. Uh, my stream has a uh, one D. I can still do it this way and I'll just add four to it. Uh, instead of being weird. Yeah, that's a 16 to hit. Hey. Very good. Uh, as you that, make... Okay. Where are you punching him? In the face? In his gut? face! In his, in, I'm, in his nose. I'm going to break that damn nose. You make contact and you feel it. And this should hurt him. And he doesn't even blink. Just keeps making eye contact. He has to feel something to care. Then I'm doing it again. 20. <laughs> well, if we're going to go back into initiative. Oh, that's actually a crit on both die. <laughs> <laughs> that is a crit. That is, without a doubt, a critical hit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He's. So, by the rules of the game, I have to give you something good. Um, I am going to roll his defense, per usual. All right. Um, that's a very good defense roll. So, you punch him again, and Kwame, you see a bit of his face fly off. Mm. As if it was a porcelain mask, or maybe made out of glass. And underneath, you see red scales. And he actually looks like, oh, I felt something. It's not pain. It's not a look of pain, but it is a look of fascination. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to ask, are we still in combat? Because this is a... Is, this is your decision. If you continue to strike, it is combat still. When Kawame collides with that second attack and he sees the paint chip off, basically. There is a um, a heaviness to his breath, not out of being tired, but out of being, not being physically tired, but emotionally tired. Um, but it's being uh, uh, visualized, I guess. And once he sees that, there's a tilt of his head. <sighs> I just proved that you can be touched and this story can change. Next time, ask us. And he turns towards the group. 
Are you what ready? What else are you doing? I think at this point, Manny has just started ignoring the devil. Um, and when Tra Kwame turns to them, uh, they just say, Are you ready? You almost see the fangs on his fist start to grow as he's still very um, charged by everything and he is very much taking out his anger and his frustration and his own fear of the situation out on the obvious villain of the story but as he watches he um, allows those fangs to retract and the web uh, the fist kind of dissolve as the web goes away fine and he'll start to walk out the door Nanny will go last. Dahlia is going to dramatically flip her hair and walk out. Huff. <laughs> like a mean girl. <laughs> that was more Miss Piggy than mean girl, but I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Let's go, Kermy. <laughs> Lennox is going to, like, just look for something that looks like it might be valuable and just, like, spray <laughs> beer on it and goes, oops, oh, man. It does that sometimes. <laughs> Manny just kind of does a like little twist of their sword as they're like, like it's the motion of like putting their weapons away. And as they do, like the weapons, like, you know, return it to the astral plane from which, uh, in which they live as mm -hmm. they walk out, close the door behind them. As you leave Artie's office, he rubs at the paint chip as it returns to flesh tone. Weird way to thank someone. The four of you find yourselves outside of the Dean's office, the clock tower in the center of North Point Academy. Students busy themselves heading to class, uh, leaving class, skipping class in a couple cases. Uh, you hear the mariachi uh, club practicing because they are no longer allowed to practice at 6 a.m., uh, you see the cheer team uh, practicing in the quad. Um, despite how much your lives have changed, well, most of your lives have changed in a matter of moments, the world has continued to move on. I wonder how many of them realize that they're living a different life. Probably like none of them. It's yeah. I wonder. Well, have any of you seen Nanako since we got back? No. I guess we should all figure out what else has changed. Does it matter? And maybe guess... find out if anyone else here has a new anima? Yeah, I guess um... figure out, like, do an inventory of, like, you know, all the power we have access to or whatever. Yeah, because yeah. Persephone implied that Hades is still here, just not in the With same... anybody. So I'm wondering if someone other than Sp since Spiro never came here. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, we'll fix it. It'll be fine. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Well, we are going to fix it. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So, yeah, maybe checking out the students. I know that we've called everybody. Some of them we figured out don't have their divinities anymore. Some of them we figured out still do. I guess that means we should look around for maybe people who ended up with them this time, or did any of you have any keys on you when you got back? I'm going to be honest with you all. I just need to um, sit down for a bit and process. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily feel like, I don't know, becoming the Scooby gang right now. Oh, that's fair. 
Anybody hungry? We could sit at the cafeteria and have something to eat. We should probably eat and drink some water. Well, yeah, I mean, if, if everyone else is eating, that'd be a good place to start, but not start. You cool with going to the cafeteria, Kwame? Okay, let's go to the cafeteria. You find the cafeteria as lively as ever. Students are enjoying the myriad of options they have. There's that beautiful, like, eco-friendly architecture that incorporates the natural beauty of the Pacific Northwest. Um, there's people chatting and everything, and you do recognize a face uh, eating alone. Um, she has dark black hair and kind of a demure air around her. Uh, Nanako Majima. And she looks up at the four of you and gives a wave. Oh, great. She does know us. Good. That's good. That's that's really good. Uh, Manny will go over to uh, Nanako. Hi. Oh. Hello, President. How are you? What? Excuse me? What did you call me? President? Dent, you <laughs> that's very funny no that's that's just it's just that it's hilarious i am the what and manny presidents? kind of looks at the other the other three and it's like with president of what exactly oh my god are we like all president of something um no in my president oh okay no um that's okay i didn't like want it well, but then but now i kind of you know how Manny is. Likes to hear their full title. I just thought, I just was trying to be cute. I don't know what you guys are all about. I, I just. Hey, Kwame, are you okay? I'm, I'm, good. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, you, you mentioned president, huh? Yeah, um, I'm just going to go walk and get something to eat. <laughs> uh, go ahead and go. give me a charisma roll. <laughs> uh, hmm. But that's my highest stat, too. I know. Yeah. Thank you. Yes! Success! <laughs> she rolled a one, so she's... She can tell something's up, but she's not going to pry. No, she's like... I'll be... I'm just going to get in line really quickly and get some... What's what's on the menu today? Uh, Well, I didn't write out a menu, so uh, we'll just go ahead and say uh, today's pizza day. Great. I'm going to go get me a slice of margarita pizza, pizza and keep it there. Okay. Yep. Hi. Find the table. Find the table. Find the table. Hi. Yeah, no, Hi. you worked really hard for that. I just trying to be cute. The smile Manny has on their face is so uncomfortable. Like, they are so deeply uncomfortable with all of this. Can you give me a <laughs> charisma roll? Sure. That's, uh, <laughs> you beat her by one. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So I have a school council meeting today. I mean, yeah, you president of the Glee Club, you work really close with school council. Are you feeling okay? Did you have water? I'm the president of the Glee Club. <laughs> no, not, uh, I, sorry, English. English is hard. The club that's all about school spirit and crap. <laughs> sorry. Oh, uh, you president of the um, the uh, Pep Squad. Yes, that that's the mm. word. That's the Rachel one. Berry. Oh no. <laughs> no, we don't need Never. two Rachel Berries in this. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So okay. I'm president of the Pep Squad. Okay, that is okay. Yeah, you worked really hard to get it. I helped you with the campaign? No, I just thought you meant I was... There are a lot of different presidents, and so when you called me just president, I thought you I was, like, the president of, like, the whole school, and I don't want that. No, thank you. I wish I had some water to give you right now. Okay. I think I'm going to go get something to eat. Not I'm a... feeling a little... 
Wow, that was a lot. Okay, it was really nice talking to you, Nanako. Or I mean, I'm going to come right back once I've got my food, but I'll be right back. Nanako looks at you, Lennox, and uh, you notice there's no blushing. There's no, like, trying to be coy. She is just making eye contact, and she goes, are they okay? Is everyone all right? <laughs> um, uh, what? Well, I... <laughs> Teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. You know, sometimes you just like, um, you ever wake up and feel like your whole life's a lie? <laughs> More often than I care to. Yeah, you know, it's just like normal, normal stuff. Huh. Do I still like football? I don't know. Do you? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I got um, Nanako, I heard yeah? that someone in the school had a crush on you. Oh. Okay. Lenny, things, things have gone awry. That yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what your play is. Down. I don't know what your play is right now. I want to back you up, but like I don't know. <laughs> uh, just, let's just uh, let's just hit all of our marks real quick. N Nanako, do you think it's it's safe to be eating with that plastic cutlery? Because it could snap off, and you could consume plastic, which isn't very good. I think it's fine. Also, straws are bad because it kills turtles, which exists still, right? Yes, okay. yes, okay. Lennox. There's an embarrassing video of you going around. Who posted Amazing. that? Oh my gosh. Do you feel like you have an inner power? Are we talking about this in the cafeteria? That seems really unwise. Lennox, just, she grabs you by the arm and she's not feeling up your bicep. She's not trying to cop a feel. She's just trying to get you to sit down. He sits down. He's like, I don't know. Are we are we bullying? What are we doing? I'm, I'm so lost. <laughs> You're lost. Do you have magic powers? Yeah, that thing. Yes, we all do. Why are you why are we whispering? Because when why, I why are we talking about this here? But but what is what constitutes all? Like what what is all? Safety squad you, all? Me safety. What's the safety squad? Oh god. <sighs> Success! Whoa! It's that gone. A funny joke, Nanako. I know. I mean, why no, I okay. love that idea. I, okay, <laughs> listen. I've been arguing. We need a name. For, we need a name for our little Scooby Gang for a Can while. I? But I, last time we brought that up, Kwame just. Uh, she. W oh, I wish I had sunglasses or something, but it was very. Um, Can I? I uh, do not do that. That sounds embarrassing. I don't think that's a good Transylvanian vampire. Yeah, that's not yeah, great. No, that that was embarrassing. <laughs> Nanako, can can we level with you right now? Um, of course. Uh, so, uh, as you may have sussed out, we are uh -huh. magical, like yourself. Um, I have the power of a god inside of me. Um, it's um. Yes, so do I. Yeah. Wait, which one do you what? Have? Yeah, which one? You know, is it on me? I don't know if it's on you or not. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. I thought it was supposed to be inside. In she begins saying something in Japanese that you know is rude. <laughs> is it? Right. Just give us a refresher course. Um, oh my just God, just pretend like we Lady woke up today. Lady and I ran into each other and bonked our heads, and we're not remembering things super clearly. Yeah. We're okay, oh, though. Okay. We're okay, I'm, though. All right. I'm going to take you to Everything okay over I should here? take you to... No, Hi, like Manny. Manny. Could you help me fish. get them to the uh, nurse's office? This is. I was a lie. I didn't. We didn't hit heads. Oh, gosh. What's going on? Okay. Now yeah, I think Kwame walks back over with his plate. Um, things uh, look tense. We What's accidentally, going? Lenny and I started doing some Scooby Doo stuff. Yeah. Uh -oh. Very We're sorry. Not, uh, I'm not really good at it. <laughs> well. But we, We've learned that Nanako has powers. My God. Manny immediately sits down next to Na Nanako and goes, You have a divinity? Yeah, you were there when. You were there the night it happened. Okay, so 
we can't talk about this right now, right now, because Kwame needs like a break really fast. But we need to talk to you about something because it's obvious that you don't realize that it happened. What are you? Kwame just she sits puts down. A, she puts the back of her hand on your forehead. No, 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 no. You have to trust us, Nanako. Kwame just sits down and just starts eating this pizza in silence. Yes. You just have to trust us, okay? It's really important that you trust us. Okay, I trust you. You know I trust you. Nanako, just by chance, who else at this school has powers? Just us and uh, Helen? Mrs. Winter's Ash. Oh. But, yeah, I mean, right. I know, okay, there are, like, some other people. There was that uh, really cute short guy from England. Um, he had one. And I know they're uh, Helen, right? Mm -hmm. We don't talk much. Um, I should fix I, that. I forgot. Is Hades <laughs> around? I mean, he was until the accident. What? Okay, um, I don't know what's going on. Well, just, like, explain <clears throat> what happened as if we all had amnesia for the Can past we take years. the next 15 minutes just eating and not talking about this stuff? And then Tell afterwards, you, we will well, head... What happened? We will talk about it in 15 minutes, please. Just, uh, there is a, a clock that appears in front of uh, Kwame that starts from? at 15, 14.59, 58, and just goes. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you two go get get some food? Yeah, yeah. And like I said, Nanako, there's a lot we need to talk about, but we can't do it right now. Because like I said, Kwame needs a break. So we're going to eat, and we're going to enjoy being together for 15 minutes quietly. Okay. The mushroom pizza is very good, by the way. I, and I, I, I look at um, Nanako, and you can tell he is there. There are bags starting to form under his eyes. That's how mentally tired he is right now. And he just says, I don't know what you all have talked about. We will talk about it very soon. I promise. But right now, for my sanity, Please. I'm willing to shut the heck up, okay? Thank you. All right. Nom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Manny starts thinking really, 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 really loud to himself, hoping that Lenny will be able to hear them, just like mentally screaming at him. Bring back ice cream. Bring back ice cream. Bring back ice cream. Lenny Bring walks away cream. without hearing anything. Bring back ice cream. Bring back ice cream. Bring back ice cream. Now he's probably not hearing me. <laughs> so, bring back ice cream. Lennox, do you bring back the ice cream? L Lenny believes in consent and does not enter people's minds without their permission. That's fair. So... You have a very tense lunch. Um, Nanako is confused, but she respects Kwame's witch wishes and keeps her mouth shut. Um, as the as, as time goes by a little bit, and I don't think we're like quiet, but just not talking about that. As it as the the web reaches zero, it just fades away. He says, "Thank you." You're welcome. Now, um, apparently stuff has happened. Mm. Yes. Uh, yes. What is the apparently. accident? How many of us have powers? Uh, what happened? Uh, who's dead? Uh, do you know Dr. Ashwell? Because not the, the, but the one, the uh, other ones. How many? What about the door? Uh, has there been she any? She is leaning back. Have you seen a rabbit? You have you seen a rabbit running around? Um, what about Loki? Is Loki here? Um, uh, yeah, doors. Doors. That's a good one, Link. Doors. Thank you. I thought so. All right. Let's see if I can answer in order. Um, one. The accident that made Spiro uh, 
asked for a memory wipe and that he and why he dropped out of school. Like it was I know it was back in January and it was really hard, but like that happened. He still what? Yeah. What? Why would he want a memory wipe? It was pretty bad. There was a there was an echo and we were fighting it and uh you know no one died thankfully the to answer to answer your question lenny uh who's dead i don't know no one we know personally um and but that's the problem yeah yeah um people got hurt and spiro took it really hard and uh yeah wh why are you asking about spiro can I mean, he's my ex, but I don't know why you guys are so obsessed. I'd like to believe that Kwame did that in game. I, that was in character. I CB, that happened. <laughs> no, it didn't come from Kwame, though. It came from Anansi. <laughs> okay, Anansi has set up those chairs they had on Jerry Springer. <laughs> no. I, uh, I forgot. I forgot to pay for my food. And Dolly's gonna get up and as she walks away, there's just like dead leaves blowing out from behind her. Out of nowhere. She dead leaves. She's okay with it. Um, I'm going to say the thing that I don't think has been said yet and we kind of need to say it. But before I say it, he like leans in. Do you feel, this is the weird part, do you feel any different? Do you feel like there's two of you? Do you feel like someone's watching? Okay, you know what? You get split up into four pieces one time and no one lets that one go. No, no, that's not it. Though. But I mean, I you answered that. Like, wow. But that happened to you in this timeline too. Timeline? Alright, so I guess we should spill the big news. All four of us this is not our timeline. Like, we didn't live this life. In the place that we came from, you don't have a divinity. Oh. Which is why we're all so excited to hear that you do. I personally hoped that Nanako would get a divinity for ages now. Be nice to be able to stop having to keep that secret from her. Um... I probably should be more concerned, but I'm... You're not lying to me, so... I can't lie. That said, Ma'at is a bit broken because of this. Oh. Oh, I haven't did... been able to use her, and when I did, she just said the words crisis over and over. That's alarming. Yeah, it's like something to do with the fact that the devil rewrote all reality, so it's simultaneously. I'm sorry, the devil alive. what? So uh, the, the devil, uh, who's the principal? Yeah, there. Doctor Ash is blink, gone. Blink. Audible blink. Also, Doc uh, Kim, uh, Ash uh, Winters, Ash Ash Winters, uh, Kim used to be a teenager like all of us, and now she's an adult and she's a counselor. I'm I mean, very... I know that, that that happens to a lot of adults, but we mean like where we're from. She she's still a teenager. She died, and then we brought her back to life, kind of. Uh, and now she was she was a student like all the rest of us. But here's like she she's actually all grown up and is like lived her life and was adopted by by Principal Ash and just a lot. I know we're throwing a lot at you. Yeah, yeah. this is a, this is this is a lot. This oh, is a lot. And, but, and where we come from, uh, Dahlia and Spiro are not necessarily a thing, but they were very much becoming a thing. Oh. So, so yes. Sh yeah. They, also, also where we happened. come from, dogs can talk. She might have been okay with it in this world because she actually had the chance to talk to you about all of it, and you know. But in our world, they only just started kind of dating, so... 
it's a little bit sensitive. Also, oh. my mother died in my world, and now she's alive. So that's a shock for me right now. Oh, that's my dead brother's alive now. And I Hi. way to bury the lead. Sorry, that was I, loud. And I certainly didn't ever intend to become president of the Pep Squad. I have like no leadership qualities. That's a, you see, like, there's like a piece of crust hanging from Kwame's mouth. Don't ever talk bad about yourself ever again. Emancipation. Yeah, Manny, you get a uh, Jerry Springer, uh, a very tiny miniature Jerry Springer chair kind of chucked in your general direction. And that's <laughs> just not the best aim, so it just kind of goes wide, but still. I have no leadership aspirations. That's a more valid statement. Okay. The point um, is, there's a lot that has changed for us, and now we um, have to figure out at least if there's a possibility to go back to where we come from or fix what we've been lost or, or gained. Or There's just a lot. We tried to beat up the balance. principal, but it didn't work. He rewound it. Ah, okay. This is um, this is a lot. As you said, I'm I'm going to repeat myself. Um, I'm also going to repeat myself and say uh, I believe you two. She points at you, Lennox, and you, Kwame. I believe you two kind of had the biggest upset. Uh, I need to apologize to Dahlia because she seemed. I mean. Yesterday, she was fine with me dating her ex a couple months ago. Um, she dumped him. But, uh, okay. <laughs> um, um, the I have questions for you. Okay. Okay? You've told me a lot. I'm going to enforce my boundary right now and ask that I get to have some answers as well. Okay? Fair. Sure. All right. Um... Do you know what an echo is? No. no. And I was going to ask about that. I yeah, specifically I was, wrote I was it down in my mind. Context clues said it's like a monster, but we call them crows. Oh. Well, um... But I guess so, that doesn't make any sense because the... Cause, Linux, cause, Linux, Linux, Linux. I like... Move, I like scoot closer and I just like rub his back. <laughs> uh... She's a little surprised by that, honestly, but not offended. Just like, oh, okay. Um, okay, so yeah, basically when someone has an extremely negative reaction to something, it can create sort of these psychic monsters, and that's what we deal with. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not... Great, but okay. Thank you for answering that, and I'm glad I can answer one of your questions in turn. To um, am I kind of anxious in your world? <laughs> You're like completely different. You're so chill here, and like calm, and like collected, and like. Um, I think this is like the longest I've ever spoken to you without you literally passing out. Or becoming a robot. That's it. Nanobot. Nanako Robot 3000. She blushes at that, and it's not like, uh, oh dear, this. it is a, oh, that's humiliating kind of blush. Okay, I never got better in that. Okay, cool. cool. It's kind of your thing. It's not a bad thing. It's just... We know that you are very excitable, and the smallest thing can trigger that excitement. And sometimes, you know, uh, you go from Nanako to inspect a gadget. It's fine. You're sensitive, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, thank you for saying that. Um, trying not to cry right now. Okay. Um, all right. Do you want a hug? Yes, please. Thank you. Manny gives Nanako a very big hug. <laughs> she Manny very much appreciates best it. hugger, best yes. hugger in new school safety squad. <sighs> For sure. Okay. Um, so I guess I never get my divinity and I never start therapy. Okay. Don't but... don't say never. I 
I on like I, I when I tell you that it's been my hope for a very long time that Nanako would get a divinity, I'm not lying to you. If it's meant to happen, it's going to happen. And I honestly believe if anybody deserves it, it's you. Well, thank you for that. Um Okay. But we can start on the therapy part right now. If we make I'm... things right, then we will definitely make sure Nanako ends up in therapy. Okay. Um not sure I like the third person talk. Um, okay. Sorry about that. You. It's... We'll make sure you end up in therapy. Okay. Um, but not like you, because like, cause that, that person's not you. You're a different person? This is getting very confusing. But <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, am I still a cheerleader? <laughs> what? You were. Um, oh. Before I got there, I guess. I yeah, yeah, you were a cheerleader. I think technically you're you're still a cheerleader, but like, you are also part of the school safety squad with us. That's a really weird name. I agree. You didn't come up with it. Uh, our friend came up with it before she went to France. Oh, um, what was her name? Uh, Ivy. 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 Oh yeah. Ivy. We didn't talk much. You two are best friends in our reality. I can see it. I just want to note that Aki's web captioner, when Ivy was mentioned, it did like an IV, like in your arm versus like <laughs> Ivy. <laughs> and I just I thought mean, that was funny. <laughs> do I have the name right? I have the name right, right? No, Iris, it's sorry. Iris, Iris. Iris. I, that I sounds... thought it was Iris. I guess what they're sure. <laughs> sorry, Kelly, we miss me. you. No, y'all could have corrected me because I knew it was an I name and I was just like, I wasn't here for the first season, so I didn't know. <laughs> No, it was a no. plant, and so at least I got a plant. It was a plant. It's closer than I got the first time, which was not <laughs> even trying to guess. No. So this is um, what happens when you get old folks. Memory is a weird <laughs> thing. Um, so, Dahlia, what are you doing right now while they're having this conversation? Dahlia is, like, leaning against the tree in the middle of the cafeteria with her forehead on it. And there are like vines growing up her feet. Are there doom lines even... behind her? Yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> and there's like the little like leaf swirl. <laughs> should we go? Should we go talk to her? Should we let her be? Um, let Let me handle this, please. Which is not okay. something you ever thought you'd hear from Nadako Majima. Okay. Cool. Lead with like the part where she dumped him. I think that'll help. I don't think that would actually help. I think she would be would, very concerned. Oh, it, just, it would distract her. That's for certain. Yeah, that's true. Tell her uh, that he's not good enough for her. Make sure you preface it that she was the lead actress in her story. Not make sure you preface it that she got the last bow. That 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 helps. Uh, okay, thanks. Uh she approaches you uh the vines and everyone is confused because it is the middle of like i know it's early spring in the pacific northwest so it's still kind of like everyone bundles up when they leave the house and rain and snow are inevitable but it's not dead it, 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 this is unexpected especially indoors um dahlia she's like <laughs> She's singing She Used to Be Mine from Waitress under her breath. Uh, my favorite musical about infidelity. Um, <laughs> Dahlia. Um... Yeah. I know you're not the Dahlia I know. The Dahlia I know... Well, she didn't feel that way about Spiro. I think what I'm most confused about is that I sent him a voice message and a picture today, and he's, he said he doesn't know who I am. Dahlia, he doesn't know who any of us are. But you said he was my ex. Yeah. And mine too. It was hard on both of us, and it really hurt. 
and I am actually extremely jealous that you texted him because I don't have that courage. <sighs> Not a good we have to fix this. We're going to. I promise. I, I felt love's sweet kiss upon my cheek and now it's gone. Is this a bad time to mention you had a date lined up this weekend? What? With, with who? <laughs> uh, um, with who? With who? Um, the French exchange student, the really pretty one. Tall, kind of built like a Adonis. So Spiro. That sounds like Spiro. <laughs> uh, Wait, hold on. Describe Spiro for me, uh, really quickly. Spiro was uh, tall, uh, half Middle Eastern, uh, French. Hey, I did describe his mom as Middle Eastern you French did. Jones. You did. You did. You did. Yeah. Um, that is liked his beanies, had piercings, uh, kind of hotter than the sun, uh, prone to not wearing a shirt, had sort of a That's weird flirty terrible. thing with Kwame that I, uh, yep. I definitely have thought about. At least Spiro was the same. True he to himself in any universe. Wow, um, but you you were saying I have a, have a date with another French guy? Yeah, Pierre. Maybe, well, well, maybe I should go on this date and like find out if they have a divinity too. <laughs> to, you know, get some information. I hope not. Pierre's as dumb as a sack of bricks. Pierre? Pierre. Pierre. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> she takes out her phone and she kind of flips through. Uh, and she shows you a photo of him, and he is a card from marble, cheekbones you could kill for, skin as dark as midnight and just beautiful and glistening. He just came out of the shower <laughs> in this photo. <laughs> like, this man definitely posts thirst traps, and it is unfortunate <laughs> for everyone involved. And no, CB, he I'm not apologizing for that. No, I'm laughing because you said you said dark red skin or whatever, and me and Aki both went <laughs> <laughs> the exact same time. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, you got messy. It's like, because I was like, is that I, I, wrong? I was is like, that not okay? No, no, no. It was no, great. No, no. It was just like I was just waiting. I was like, what? How is he going to describe the skin tone? And the moment you said dark, I was like, oh, hello. <laughs> Bow. Mm. Let's go. Continue. Sorry. We like. We like. We like that. Dustin. It's nice. <laughs> you said his name is Pierre or Pietro. Pierre. Pierre. Pierre I think. Um. So we know that Dolly is about to try and do some Natasha with this with this boy. Um, God damn it, Aki. No, it no, is a you... beautiful musical. Okay. Do you by chance have um his phone number? I'll send it to you, okay? Okay. Do you need a hug? <sighs> the only hug I want is from arms that aren't here. But Would I mine will suffice take though? A hug from you. Okay. <laughs> and Nanako Majima, who in this world is just doing a lot better, gives you a hug. I guess not everything. <sighs> like Manny sees that from across the cafeteria and kind of turns to Lenny and Kwame. We really need to make sure that Nanako gets therapy when we fix this. I I love Nanako, like just the way that she is. But if this is what happens when she gets herself some help, I think we owe it to her as her friends to make sure she gets it. I wonder if her family's still in the Yakuza. <laughs> Uh, from the up, uh, from over by the central tree of the cafeteria, Nanako looks over to you. What? Uh -oh. <laughs> I would say that. Yes. 
Hmm? I telepathically blink, blink, ask, blink. Uh, "Are you, is your family still in the Yakuza? Is my family what? <laughs> what do you oh, mean? I guess, I guess not. Uh, for the record, they 100% are. <laughs> <laughs> they so are. <laughs> Painfully so. She just thinks most guys just lose fingers. Yeah. You know, just at a certain age, it just happens. A lot, a lot of people in their family working. wear full suits and that they don't take off. And a couple of them miss a finger every once in a while. And tattoos are very normal. Okay. Just our pretty little Yakuza princess. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Sopranos, so I'm an honorary straight guy, and now I just have a whole new appreciation for that. Oh. As the as Nanako leads you back to the table, Dahlia, you hear the dulcet tones of a school announcement. Bum, 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 bum. Do you? I don't... <laughs> I'm trying... Let me pull it up and, find, and try and find it. I don't... I just it's shared it in the chat. chat. Okay. Just, yep. Oh, it's a, it, it's a shorty. Sometimes they're short, sometimes they're long. I never know. <laughs> uh, good, good afternoon, kids. I hope you're enjoying pizza day. Uh, we have more announcements for you before you get back to class. Uh, this one comes from uh, from Damien uh, Karas. Karas? Karas? Karas. These kids and their names that aren't... <laughs> Yeah, uh, he says... That's a good power... in name. Yeah, uh, Damien says, the power of Christ compels you, uh, which, uh, you know, it, it may or may not, that's up to your own personal preference. Uh, you know, I, I live my life uh, by by a simple words, live, laugh, love. I have it on a, on a, on a piece of wood that's been burned, it's above my bed. It's a, you know, and I do. I live, I laugh, and I do love quite often. But that's not oh, for another please. time, that's announcements. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, Utterly Jesus, horrified Gladys, by that. Please. Oh, Gladys, why? Nanako pushes away her pizza, just like, well, there goes my appetite. <laughs> so, we know that Nanako has a divinity. We know that Kim still kept her divinity. We know that the devil is a piece of shit. Um, Which we I also mean... know that. I don't know if you saw, um, and I'm pretty proud of it, even though it came out of aggression, not out of um, um, usefulness. Though I guess usefulness can be aggressive if needs be. Anyway, um, when I, um, and I quote, knocked the fuck out of the devil, um, um, there was like a chip. There was a, a part of, of them that um, was revealed. There's something red, scaly underneath. This is not a Kwame's voice. There is something scary. No, that's not it either. Let's figure that eh, and scene. I do not know what it could be, but uh, uh, perhaps we should find out. Hmm. Yeah, we need to also figure out how his whole rewinding time thing works so that we can stop it, so that we can fix things. That's what I wanted to ask. Is Nanako still with Dahlia? Uh, she. Uh, da I think she brought Dahlia back, back to the back table. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, you mentioned something, and um, it should have just gone over my head, but then when Anansi mentioned it earlier, it forced me to remember. Your divinity is Izanami, mm -hmm. the Shinto goddess of creation and death. And death, yes. Izanami is one of the storytellers. Um... I don't really think so. I don't, Kwame. I can't do what you do. If that's what you're no, at. I don't think that's no. Um, but she is, in her essence, um, someone who should be able to create out of nothing, which is what Anansi can do, just in a different way. He just writes the stories, and those stories gain life. It's Anansi can create whatever she wants. That is true. Has she been fine? Um, she closes her eyes and kind of almost winces a little bit. And behind her, you see 
Izanami. Um, the form it takes, it's kind of like an angular woman uh, in a kimono that is about 10 feet tall, beautiful flowing. You see uh, hands reaching out from under it that are skeletal. Uh, the face is half a skull, half just kind of a mask. It's very imposing for Nanako, of all people. Um, she looks up. Uh, no, she seems fine. Not much. Of a, she's never been much of a talker. You don't... Um, a nun to you right now, and it could just, just be because this, this story is not something he sanctioned or, or approved of. He is... Um, and I guess look over at Anansi. Stop writing stuff. Okay. You know, he, he looks up from his pen. You know what? It's calming me down. Fine. If that's your coping mechanism, whatever. Okay, Just you know don't I, overwork yeah, yourself. I'm done. How do you like that? I'm done. Good. Take Good. five minutes. Fine. I will. Good. Good. Okay. If you need help, like, relaxing, Inkashi's got you. <laughs> Divinity party. <laughs> the the point is, um, he um, feels, I guess, confused or um, too anxious, and he's continuously writing stories of creation from different times, from different eras, different cultures. He can't stop, and I was just making sure that you weren't also, or at least Izanami, and I look up, wasn't also feeling the same or just off. Um, Izanami lowers herself uh, to your level. You see how she looks, and it is uh, it's looking death in the face, and that's never a nice feeling. Nanako just kind of looks at her and stares back, and there's this tense silence between the two of them, and Nanako just looks back to you, Kwame, and shrugs. Um, yeah, she's fine. Nothing weird here, apart from the uh, thousand dead under her at all times. Love that. It's great. Okay. Well, that that is one lead that isn't... Well, it's good that we know that other divinities aren't affected. Especially, well, like, us. Yeah, I think the reason why, like, I guess ours are affected is because we're the only ones aware of the change, whereas everyone else was... I don't know if like they were born of this creation. I don't, I don't, because I don't know how they had Satan had like the power to like make the universe over or whatever, but like anything created within it, but because like we weren't created within it, like I don't know, like we, our stuff's like different or like vibrates different. That makes the most sense to me. You, Anansi. Uh, are you okay over there? I'm fine. Okay. Um, he's been taken out of his story and put into a new one. So he's probably feeling pretty anxious. He's pretty agitated. Yeah. I'm going to ask the question that I hope is not the, I hope the answer I get isn't, is, is not what I'm hoping it is. Um, the devil in we have we have very clearly seen that there are many different pantheons many different entities from different places not all divinities are necessarily gods but they are all from their own mythologies for lack of a better word the devil in the judeo christian pantheon is not necessarily a god but has power, but he is not the creator from his pantheon. Are we unfortunately dealing with a devil who now has the power of the creator from his pantheon? If you can just rewrite things like that, which is something that per person could do. Are you trying to ask if Yahweh is dead? I'm asking if the devil has Yahweh's power. Nietzsche would have a field day. Well, yeah. 
I guess, I, like, I don't understand all these religions and so... Because I know, like... Grow up, Black. More... You end up learning a lot more about religion than you want to. Oh, yeah. Uh, my dad always said uh, religious religion is just good for uh, culling the masses. So, like, you know, I don't really know what that means, but... Nanako looks a little horrified by that statement. And for a brief moment, you all see, oh, that's still definitely Nanako. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. The, uh, with some religion, I mean, especially the word religion, um, it, it was kind of used as a bargaining chip or as a, a metaphysical hammer. But before religion... It was a mythology. It was a culture. It was a story. It was things to look up to. It was fables. Ninkasi was just a song. That's exactly the point. These things that have power, but we gave power to them because of the beliefs that we had. Unfortunately, people forced Christianity to be the most popular belief. It's like TikTok in the world of MySpace. Um, MySpace? You're too young. We're the same age. You're yeah, too young in spirit. <laughs> Lennox doesn't know what that is. None of us know what MySpace is. We didn't grow up during the time of MySpace. I know the MySpace because Anansi knows MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Miss. I think uh, Miss Winters Ash mentioned it one time. Uh, and then... oh, she'll hate that. She will hate that if she hears that. She'll hate it. Is she MySpace anything like Meta? That she's old. I, oh. You know they're still working out that oh. lawsuit, right? We're not talking about that here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got to draw the line somewhere. The the, the point line is drawn here, here, um, and no further. Is there? Um, I, I just I, I I'm I'm stuck on that now. I'm wondering if. That's one of the potential reasons the devil has so much power that he usurped the creator from his story. I mean, he is a dick. So, I mean, but if he's done that, that is that is that is some big time cosmic chaos, messed up, imbalanced stuff. Well, and that might know. be why Ma is absolutely freaking out right now. Because we know, like, um, we don't know all the stuff that changed, but we know some of it. And, like, they're big changes for us. But as far as I can tell, like, you know, sky's still blue and, you know, uh, pizza's still on Wednesdays. So, like, uh, and it, he said it took him, like, five, six months or whatever to get it done. So, or whatever it was, wasn't easy to do. It's not like... You know, well, he doesn't can, have as much practice. Yeah, he can't like snap the fingers and make us not be born, probably. Also, if you think about it in terms of like biblical interpretations, the idea that God created the earth in seven days is obviously, you know, a little bit fantastical. But also, what is a day? A day exactly. to us is 24 hours, but a day to them could be months to us. So I just don't know. And uh, he, you, it took him six months to rewrite what? Ten years? It took him forty days and forty nights to re rewrite what he already written, wrote. Hmm. Anyway, Nanako, who has whose Christian experience begins and ends with Christmas, which her family usually just gets KFC, uh, has been staring at y'all blankly. Uh, I, I am a reader. I was, I still am a poet, um, so I... Yeah, you're very good. And Judeo-Christianity is basically the cousin of my religion, so... Oh. I went to a private uh, Catholic boys' school, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't really pay attention. Nanako looks at you, Dahlia, expecting you to have something as well. I mean, Dahlia is obviously a witch, so I don't know why... I went to church until I was like six years old and then um kind of kind of didn't go because I was too interested in being on the stage. That is literally my actual Eric's my actual God life. My God is Stephen Sondheim, so. <laughs> I told my parents at six years old I didn't want to go to church anymore and they said, oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, 
be the Jew at the table. Um, I pray to Rogers and Hammerstein. Thank you. Oh, okay. Um, I wish I had answers for what's going on with you guys. My honest worry is that we won't have answers. So we just kind of have to live it until we figure it out. Have any of us tried to use our divinity's powers yet? Uh, I fill a glass with beer. Um, yeah, Lennox, you absolutely do. Do not let a teacher see that. You will be in trouble. But yeah, you don't have a problem with that. It looks like ginger ale is fine. <laughs> I asked for like an ale and it's more of an IPA, but you know, whatever. <laughs> And well, I get to see Dahlia use her vine powers, so those yeah. seem to work. You used your 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 fists. Yeah. Um, though I don't know if those are one of your well, I, divinity powers. I clouded his eyes with web. Because right, you oh, you didn't realize. Uh he has the ability to basically make us powerless, and I don't like it. Oh. Yeah, no. I oh right, we didn't tell you that. So he's He's a creeper. Like that uh, teacher who had to be fired last year, creeper? Or, no. Uh, I, mean, oh. I don't know. Maybe. I don't remember that. That didn't happen to us. Oh. Or In any case, let's just slide right by that one. Yeah, that's a... that's a. Let's just swipe by. Let's um, not talk about that one. No. That's a yellow um, card. Yellow that card. is a yellow Indeed. card. Um, but no, he's just, he has, he's very, he's creepy to be around. Okay. Because he's the devil. And he's a bit of a dick. Um, not even a bit. Like he's, he's just, he's not nice. He's okay. the devil. You know, he's, he's I, essentially. I believe you. The nemesis. He's also scaly. He yeah. has like scales under his face. Oh. And horns, and he had yeah. like scaly hands and red eyes. Who was the principal before him? He's been the principal all semester since uh, Dr. Ash is uh, abroad. Did you ever meet him? Dr. Ash? Y yes. No, 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 no. Uh, Ari, the oh. devil. Uh, Mr. Black? Yeah. What did he look like when you met him? Generically handsome. Huh. Dishwater blonde, um, strong chin. Uh huh, that's him, but with fewer features than what we saw. Okay, um, you haven't made any deals with him, have you, or challenged him to a fiddle duel? No, but I babysit his daughter. He, he has, has a, a daughter? daughter. He did say that. He mentioned a daughter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's she? Uh, um, Rachel, Rachel Bang. Okay. Uh, so is Rachel Ari's daughter or is Rachel the devil's daughter or is it both? I don't know. I'm concerned and confused again. Um, listen, I, I wanted, I want you all to know, I believe you. I trust you all more than any anything, and I'm not going to start questioning that now. It's honestly surprising because we, because like, I, you know, without the context, I imagine this is wildly weird. It is a, it is a hundred percent that. Yes, thank you, Lennox. Um, it is very weird and very wild and very confusing. Uh, You're doing a great job. Thank you. I'm trying very hard, and honestly, I very much want to become a, what you call it, robot? You don't want to be a robot. You don't. Oh, no, it, it's an old coping mechanism I very much don't miss, but I kind of miss it right now. Um, have you talked to uh, Kim? Can I call her that? I feel weird calling a teacher by her first name. She probably would prefer it. Okay. She's still... It, is she mean in the... Oh, yeah. Terrible. Okay. Okay. Cool. She kind of always had that... Uh, I'm mean, but I'm sort of... Oh, it's mean. totally deflecting. 
yeah, like nice mean almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that. Okay, glad to know that's a consistent thing. Yeah, um, it, when I have questions about this stuff, I'd ask her. I mean, we, she gave me uh, my divinity, so I figured she'd know. Oh, uh, is another person we need to talk to, or at least hopefully talk to. Is Dr. Wang here, and does she have her divinity? Uh, Mrs. Wang is here. She's, she's not a doctor anymore? Uh, and she's a missus? Wait. Yeah? Who's she married to? Mr. Black. Oh, no. Oh no! Oh. Oh. And Rachel is their daughter. Yes. Oh no. oh no! There's a lot of oh no's right now. Well, it's just like um, when she came to the school, there's like a definite like I don't know. Bang! Black Wang! Bang! Understood. Sorry. Continue. There was like a, a, a kind of a tension between her and uh, Dr. No, no, Ash. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Eric. I have to yeah. pause for a second. What? <laughs> you did you broke me. I, I did not. Oh my god, I'm 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 a monster. <laughs> like I'm like so Dr. Black, it. Mr. Black, Dr. Wang. You said Rachel Bang, and I was like, oh, I understand. They had they they, they combined names. If that wasn't intentional. It's intentional now. <laughs> uh, okay. Wow. I'm terrible at my job. Why? 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 Why do I? Why am I allowed here? Sorry. Okay. Going back to you, Eric. I apologize. Oh no! It's just like um, she was all like, um, Doctor Ash doesn't know what he's doing, and he's like leading you kids astray. And also, Kwame, you may have to like kill people or something there was a whole thing like she talked to Kwame a lot and then he he'd get all sad about like how he's he's got a duty now and I never really liked that part I don't like it either thank you for reminding me um well she does work with you a lot Kwame and uh well we're not we don't I mean I, we're friends I just don't spend that much time with you You're usually with uh Lennox so uh I don't know if she makes you sad or not. What does that mean? I'm just curious. In, in this, in this, I'm not sure if I'm comfortable answering that. No, it's not the bad thing. I'm just curious. You know, think, think the difference here. Dahlia was with was with Spiro and broke up with him, and and I hang out with Lenny. I think I'm still just me. Am I? Wait, I broke up with him in the. Oh wait, ah, you didn't hear that. <laughs> okay, I'm scared really to answer. Things because that would have never, ever happened in a good universe. You said he was getting between you and your career. <laughs> wow, I think I should go get some more water for everyone. Let me come with. Please let me come with you. Please let Wait, me come with you. Am I am yeah. I a part of any collegiate sports teams? Uh. You did volleyball for a little while, if I'm not mistaken. Bye! Oh, that no! That explains why I'm so scrawny right now. So scrawny still probably has the body of an Adonis. Yeah, nobody could tell the difference. No. Uh, as the, Nanako rushes away to get water, because even if she's doing better, she is still Nanako. Uh... Manny, your cell phone goes off. Oh. And it is Kim. Hey, Kim. Oh, I'm sorry. Miss Ash Winters. Okay, Winters you know Ash. what? You know what? I... Letting it go. Letting it go. Picking my battles. Okay. So we have some news for you. Yeah, I have news for you, too. Cool. Who wants to go first? You go first. Great. Uh... Our principal is the devil. He has rewritten all of time. Okay. And he's married to not Dr. Wang, but Mrs. Wang. And they have a daughter. Oh, cool. 
Uh, that's super. I love that for us. Um, oh, he's really tough to fight. We tried to fight him, and he just rewound, rewound time and made us start over. Cool, cool. Um, I have something, too. Uh, hold on a moment. You hear the rustling of feathers, and then, uh, walking through the front door of the cafeteria with a trail of black feathers behind her is, uh, Kim. Uh, still in her suit. Uh, the top button's been undone. Her tie is loosened. Hi. Okay. Hey, everyone. Good to see the four of you. Um, glad to know Pete today is still on Wednesday. C- come, come with me. Come with me, please. Immediately. Oh, are we right now. Oh. I. Sure. No. Oh no. What did we do? Manny, I do not have time for this right now. <laughs> uh, Manny will stand up and head. Follow Kim. You're having way too much fun with us. I'm so uh, sorry, y'all. Uh, Dolly, Kwame, Lenny, come on, come on. You especially, should, Lenny, come on. Should Nanako come with us? Because she is one of us. Uh, I'm sorry. She's what? Yes, she's she's like us. She has a divinity. Yeah, you gave it to her. Is it I did what? Mm-hmm. And she's like doing so much better now. Uh, at Let's this wait point, for Nanako comes up with her apology waters. Uh, oh, uh, hi, Miss Winters Ash. I'm not dealing with this right now. Okay, four of you, come on. You, Kim steals one of the waters. Come on, let's go. Vominous, vominous. Field trip for you four. Not Field Kim. Trip. Oh, not Nanako. You mean, no, okay. Uh, I thought we were we'll in right. trouble. We'll, we'll be right back, Nanako. Oh, okay. All right. Bye. Uh, she waves weakly, still confused and overwhelmed by this whole conversation. Uh, but, like, Manny hangs back just a little bit more. Let Letty know if you're cool with him talking to you. He can try and give you updates while we do this. Oh, um, she sent a text to you, uh, Lenny. Um, you guys have been texting a lot, apparently, for a while. Huh. Wow. Yeah, and she's like, uh, wow. keep me updated. Little cute emoji that you don't know where she got. He just starts scrolling through. Huh. I read a lot more these days. <laughs> uh, when you step outside, uh, Kim takes a deep breath. All right. Uh, I need all of you to kind of stand close to me real quick. I'm still learning this. Whole new power set. This is great. I love this for me. This, is, this has been a what great What do you mean, day. new power set? Just... Shut up and stand there. The four of you are encased in black feathers, uh, and you feel the earth beneath you drop. And then a sudden jolt uh, as you find yourself standing in a pile of leaves. Not not like it's been raked, but just sort of like pushed to the side. And you are at the city limits of North Point. I felt the earth move under my feet. This guy's just tumbling down. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Kim points a finger onto the road and you see a car that has been crashed. The front is just caved in. It looks like someone stepped on a can. That's apparently my car. And this is apparently what happened when I was trying to leave. Um, go ahead and, uh, uh, try to walk past that sign. She points to the If that's what happens to a car, that, that, no. Full sprint. Full sprint. Lenny goes full sprint towards (laughs) it. Lenny! Lenny, roll me dexterity. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Got a four. Lenny, take, Lenny, you take four damage as you run face first into an invisible wall. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's an invisible wall. Beyond the barrier, as you all rush up to Lenny, as he, you know, has a bonked nose, you can see outside this barrier around the town. In the sky, you see stars that don't belong. And under the dome, you see plants that don't exist. You see a Oregon that 
should not and does not exist. And you also see a void. So we are not in a different reality. We are in a space outside of space and time created to look like our reality. I gotta say that this makes a lot more sense because like the amount of like force you have to completely rewrite, you know, I mean, maybe just like a planet, but like all of that, like it just seemed like an entity that could do that wouldn't be petty because why bother to even concern itself with the, our lives? Um, yeah, don't suppose any of you have seen an old, old, old movie called uh, Donnie Darko, have you? Nope. Nope, no. Uh, cool. I think I've... Someone read an essay about it, but... It's not worth it. Uh, but yeah, um, I do think we're in another universe, friends. I think we're in another universe that's not sustainable. Yeah, I wonder how many... I wonder... Oh, that's an idea. What's the idea? What if the power the devil is wielding, if this is not sustainable, what if the power the devil is wielding is a limited resource? What if we make him turn back the clock a lot? Would that eventually deplete him? I don't Something know. Something could try. It might speed this up because that void wasn't there earlier. Something happened between my car accident and me coming to. Before I grabbed you guys, something happened. Yeah, we made him rewind time. Oh, he can do that. I love that. Great. Cool. Also, Um, Kwame punched him in the face so hard that we saw some of his true face. That too. True face. With no expression, Kim holds up a hand for a high five. I'm like looking out the void and my hand just comes up. (laughs) But this also tells me it's a pocket universe, yes, but it's if he's using up power and it's eating away from this universe, that could also mean that he never could control the power truly. Because those who can create know how to sustain their creation. If he has to use some of his power source to maintain his creation, he's not a creator. Well, what if... Well, I mean, the devil is a liar. That's like his old MO. Uh, Manny, without prompting, behind you appears Ma'ad. Yes. As if they've been playing charades for a while and fi- someone finally got it. Oh, Maat, you're better. Yes. So, you have a much deeper voice in this alternate universe. I like it. I apologize. It's been a day. Yeah, I know. I didn't want to bring you up because I didn't want to... I'm sorry. I know you just we... seemed really under distress. I know that, like, it's clear that, like, that thing we fought, the devil, whatever it really is, did this, created this place, put us all here or whatever. But, like, is it possible? Like, the fact that Dr. Ash isn't here and Dr. Wang is still here but has a kid now and is not a doctor and i i don't know if when when we use our will to make the divinities do things they go far beyond what they ever would do i think that's always been something i've like noticed is like it's not the divinities it's us it's our will that has always powered them so i don't know like yeah, the devil did this, but what if the devil had orders? The devil has a divinity. Um, what if the devil is Dr. Wayne's divinity? Because she was like hecka obsessed with like 
reforming them or whatever or turning them into different things. Yeah, okay. that would Re be a very effed up relationship. Really quickly, out of character, because unfortunately I never wrote it down. I think I asked last week, but I don't remember. Did we ever get the name of Dr. Wayne's divinity? Uh, you couldn't remember it? Uh, yeah. You do know it was a creation god like yours. Yes, I knew that. Yeah. Um, sorry, there's a cat. And I'm yeah, I just like, looked back like... Hello there. We love you. Um, Ma'at takes a deep breath, which is odd, because they don't have lungs or a nose or a mouth or anything. It's more of an audible thing than anything. This world is both a lie and this world is the truth. That's the interesting paradox. How it can was, it be both? I do not know. And it was born from a wish. Whose wish? Yours. Mine? All of yours. <laughs> no. How? How? When? When? When did you? What? Because I thought you had to like make it like a like an unofficial like if you're gonna make like a wish you gotta like say it. When did we make a wish? In what we... world would I have wished to break up with Spiro? I want my mother back, but I also know that it was my very power that caused her to die. So why would I try to use that exact same thing to bring her back, knowing the consequences could be greater? I'm not saying this is your fault. And I'm not saying this is your creation. And I'm not saying this is your responsibility. Then what are you saying? I'm saying when the door to oblivion was finally completely unlocked when that door was destroyed and the cage within it and the creature within it was finally set free it wanted to thank you so it created this world that is the truth where does the lie come in the lie comes in because they do not know how to sustain it. They do not know what to keep and what to trim away. So they just give us everything. It's an imperfect adaptation. It's, um, it's offensive is what it is. Why, how do we put it back? That I do not know. And that hey. is where we are going to wrap this week. Oh, After boy, oh, one boy, oh, quick boy. announcement from Gladys. Bum, 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 bum. Oh boy. Uh, uh, greetings, uh, North Point Academy. I hope you all enjoyed uh, your day. Before we uh, wrap up uh, class for the day, we've got one more announcement. This one's from DJ Regular. It says, as part of the new local business initiative, uh, our next announcement is brought to you by DJ Regular's House of Wigs. Remember, kids, no matter how many realities you exist in, it only takes one kitchen-ass wig to ruin your <laughs> reputation. Uh, get right at DJ Regulus. Uh, apparently that one was sponsored. I don't know. I guess the school's hard up for money. Uh, you know, they make sense because I haven't gotten a raise in I don't know how long. Uh, you know, <laughs> when the economy is hitting even our rich schools, we are all screwed. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, 
My name is Stephen Pope. You can find me on TikTok at The Professional Hobbit. I'm not really anywhere else right now because I'm mostly just working on my game and social media is not very good for my mental health, I'm finding. Uh, however, uh, make sure to check out Son of Oak uh, and their new game, Queers. I am the lead writer on that, and we are making some great progress on that. So keep an eye open. Uh you can catch up with all our shows on YouTube or as podcasts. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. All that helps. Um, and hey, you can join the Exploration Society on Kofi for Saving Throw Show. Uh, and join our Discord. We talk shop. We have a thread just about this episode. If you want to talk about what happened with Nanako and how Dahlia apparently girl bossed too close to the sun in this reality <laughs> and is ha having a whole thing. Uh, yeah, and also, we got a Princess Bride watch along coming soon, so that's gonna be very fun. Uh, so make sure to check that out. Uh, I'm gonna throw it over to Aki. Where can they find you? Well, everybody can find me on Twitter at Mixgenie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. Um, I'm not doing a lot right now. Um, I have a few things that are coming down the pipeline that I will announce as soon as I am able to. Uh, but you can check me out next on uh, tomorrow uh, with, uh, not tomorrow, so uh, the the week after this one. Next week on Monday at 1.30, I believe, uh, our most recent episode of Bonds Beyond Time, the Mage the Ascension game I play with the TTRPG cookout. Um, uh, that'll be happening on their YouTube and then, yeah, that's it. That's it right now for me. Uh, I know that very soon we'll probably be coming back with some uh, Let's Get Wild Mount, but we'll have more details about that when we've got them. All right. And next up, Eric, where can they find you? Uh, well, they can follow me on mostly Eric on all the social medias and stuff like that. Uh, Twitch and Twitters and, and Instagrams and all that stuff whenever I very rarely post and do things on them. Uh, but they can also catch me tonight at uh, 730 Pacific Standard Time at uh, twitch.tv slash BNB Tabletop, uh, which uh, is uh, the Board and Barrel. It's a show we do. We play board games. We're playing a, a little card game called Fort about kid, little kids oh, I love that game. building forts. Very cute. All right. And Mika, where can they find you? Hi, uh, I'm Mika. You can find me anywhere at RIP Mika. Um, currently, I am uploading to my YouTube channel at RIP Mika. I'm playing through Nancy Drew mystery games. So fun. I feel like a little bit of mystery, a lot of just like puzzled looks at puzzles. You'll like that. <laughs> Are you doing the puzzle game thing where you just kind of click on every pixel trying to see which one's the right one? No, I do do that when I'm like trying to find if there's anything on screen that I haven't clicked yet. But Fair enough. And last, but certainly not least, uh, Omega Jones. Oh, hey, what's up? My name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bar. Critical Bar across all social media channels. Uh, act, you know, active vocalist, tabletop professional, hot mess incarnate. Just trying to make this world a little better, one troublemaker at a time. I am doing a lot of streaming this week. Uh, you can catch me tomorrow on youtube.com slash realmsmith for the third episode of Tides of Wildmount, uh, season four, um, where I play a, um, Mm, what has been revealed? A blade singer, uh, who is currently the most, the most, the most fast, and the one with the highest AC, which is great. Uh, and uh, on Wednesday, be sure to check out Champions of the Realm, uh, which is a really cool show that I was a part of. This episode is Bailoth versus uh, Evelyn, aka Anna Prosser versus Mark Mir. It's pretty great. Um, on Friday, ha ha. On Friday, super excited to uh, to announce here that I am one of the uh, legends of Vox Machina watch party streamers. Uh, yeah. Basically partnered with Amazon Prime, Critical Role technically, to bring you uh, the first three episodes of Legends of Vox Machina on my channel. You have to have Amazon Prime to watch it with me. But we're going to, you know, watch and just enjoy, you know, Vox Machina together. Um, yeah, that's me. Uh, very excited for all the things that I'm doing. Just check out my socials and uh, we'll go from there. Right as hell. Um, okay, 
Special thanks to Dom Zook for running everything behind the scenes. Couldn't do without you, buddy. Uh, and hey, we'll see you next time here on New Pantheon Academia. Uh, but hey, if you need more content until then, we just gave you a lot to watch. But hey, Tuesday, uh, the RPG Exploration Society will be starting their campaign of the Avatar RPG, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? I think they've done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They did a character creation like session yes, zero. You can check the character creation special on the YouTube channel and on VOD here on Twitch. Uh, it is very cool. I, I'm a sucker for Powered by the Apocalypse games, per usual. But hey, uh, it's going to be great. Tuesday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Check it out. And we will be here next week on Sunday for more New Pantheon Academia. Till then, catch you later. Thank you.